Hey, I'm Sean from Bellaturf. We're gonna do a little test here proving that artificial grass will percolate water at a fast rate. What we have here is a four inch, three quarter inch road base, which is our recommended base construction material. On top we have our Sierra Pacific, which is one of our most popular artificial grasses, and we have infilled it with our pure zeolite. Um, 1.5 pounds per square foot, which will help absorb moisture and also allow water to travel through it at a fast rate. So we're gonna, we have nine liters of water here and an additional three. We're gonna pour it in here. This is gonna be, this is drilled and it's going to simulate an extremely heavy rainfall, probably heavier than we'll ever see. You'll see the water travel through, we'll catch it on the bottom, we'll time it, and then at the end of the experiment we'll uh, measure how much water we get back so we can find out how much is actually absorbed and how much water carries on through back to the earth. Okay, I'll finish setting this up. We're going to dump our nine liters of water in. As you can see, it's simulating extremely heavy rainfall. It's been 25 seconds and it's already traveling through the full four inches of three quarter road base and it's being caught in the bottom bucket. It's more of a bunch of streams than it is a rainfall. Okay, we're almost there. This is 0.73 of a square foot of turf. So we're almost done the nine liters of water. So that's about it there. So that was nine liters of water in a minute and 38 seconds in under a square foot. Let's pour an additional three. Making it 12 liters of water. As you'll notice with this ex excessive amount of water in such a small space, you still have no puddling, zero runoff. Artificial grass, when done properly, drains vertically faster than the water will run. Okay, I think we can say that's pretty much all of it. That was 12 liters of water in two minutes and 57 seconds. Now, let's uh, take this apart and let's measure how much water we got back. So the base is absorbed quite a bit. The uh, infill, the pure zeal, is also absorbed a lot, which uh, slow releases the moisture. It doesn't dry up very fast. So this bucket was right full when we started. So in under a square foot, we can do some accurate measurements, but this container here is three liters. So we, in under a square foot, it absorbed almost three liters of water. So after it's absorbed that water, it'll still allow water to flow through. So now we know about the absorption rate and I think we've proven that artificial grass will percolate water at a high rate and absorb 
water as well, allowing no water to run off into the streets. Hi there, this is Sean from Bell Turf again. This is part two of our experiment. We're now going to compare our results from the first test to results we would get from natural grass. We're using the exact same containers, the same one with the same holes. We put a four inch base of very sandy soil um, that's supposed to drain excellent. And we've put a piece of sod in here. So again, we're gonna pour the water into this one and we'll see the absorption, see if we had, how much is uh, runoff we have, what we get back. We're gonna pour the exact same amount of water, nine liters and three, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, here goes the first nine liters. Okay, as you can see, we're only at 32 seconds and it's already starting to puddle. So, natural grass is built on a slope. So that water on heavy rainfall is going to drain onto the streets, the driveways, uh, wherever the grass is sloping to. So it will not go into the earth, it will be runoff. It does not percolate very well real grass as you can see to our test here very little is actually getting through. There's actually a lot of runoff going over our bucket into the bucket. Um, okay. That's uh, a minute and 16. Let's try our other three liters. I guess it would have been nice on this experiment if we made this middle bucket a bit wider so we could see what is uh, actually running off. So we're getting a bit of a false reading here. So that's a lot of water that would uh, have run off onto the roads. Now we'll, we'll, we'll let it drain out and, and uh, measure and see what we come up with at the end. I've moved it forward so you can see it's actually running off the top surface over the front now, uh, not draining through. So that's all the water from our bucket. The top bucket's done. Um, we're at 2 minutes and 24 seconds right now. Um, I'll take this off now, and you can see this water is actually going nowhere. It is just sitting here. So we can assume that that water would have gone like this onto the road, which would have been our runoff. And that's why real grass has to be built on a slope. It doesn't drain vertically. It has to have a run. It has to move. The water has to be moving. Um, it can't drain vertically. Soil, once it's absorbed its uh, water, which isn't much, it stops percolating. It slows down extremely. Okay, well let's see what we get back. So here's what would have gone in back into Mother Nature, back into the ground. Um, you know what? That was our nine liter bucket. Let's pour it into our three liter bucket because I don't think it's going to be much. 